the right tree in the right place for the right reasons. If you're thinking about creating a new woodland, the first and most important question is, why do you want to grow trees? Understanding the potential benefits will help to clarify this. Is your main objective to create shelter for livestock or crops? Invest in a commercial timber crop? Make better use of low productivity ground? Create habitat for wildlife and pollinators? Help protect soils and reduce erosion? Improve water quality and reduce flooding? Sequester and store carbon? Create cover for game? Reduce the scale of farming operations without having to sell the land. Trees should always be matched to the site, rather than trying to alter the site conditions to suit inappropriate tree species by using excessive drainage or fertiliser. You'll likely already know plenty about the ground. How moist and nutrient rich are the soils? Trees can make more productive use of unimproved ground or rough grazing. On moorlands, heather will inhibit the growth of most conifers, except pines. Certain types of native trees are better suited to very wet areas where timber trees would be poor. Brown earths and lowland areas are ideal for growing hardwood timber. Peat deeper than 50 centimetres is a valuable carbon store and habitat, so shouldn't be planted at all. What is the local climate like? Will it become hotter or drier with climate change? Rain-loving Sitka spruce will likely become less suited to eastern areas if droughts happen more often, while less cold-tolerant species may become viable options further north. How exposed is the site? High exposure is bad for timber trees and can cause poor stem form and a high risk of wind blow. These areas are better suited to restoring native upland woodlands and scrub habitats. How accessible is the site? If your main objective is to grow a timber crop, good access is critical for future maintenance and harvesting. So areas a long way from existing roads or on steep, wet or very rough ground may be better suited to growing native woodlands. What size of area do you want to plant? You certainly don't have to plant the whole farm, but economies of scale do help to make timber crops more profitable. For FGS funding, the minimum block size is two hectares for conifers and quarter of a hectare for native broadleaves. If you want to plant along field margins, bear in mind that the best quality timber comes from trees in the middle of a woodland, because those near the edges grow more branches, creating more knots in the wood. Long thin strips aren't suitable for good timber trees. FGS funded blocks must be at least 15 metres wide and schemes with a high ratio of fencing to trees are less likely to be supported. There is additional grant funding in target areas of Scotland for certain woodland types, including the Central Scotland Green Network, Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park, the Cairngorms National Park, the Native Scots Pine Wood Zone, and places where existing native woodlands can be expanded. Putting the right trees in the right places is a core principle of modern forestry. Be clear about your objectives, know the site conditions well, and seek the advice of a professional forester.